it's him it is definitely him 180 yards out perfectly broadside we have the 6.5 we're zeroed in for 160 should be perfect hey guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be sniping some ibex from this mountaintop we actually have a tripod set up here and we're going to be overlooking this lake here we're about 360 yards away looks like we have a whole herd of mufalon sheep out here they're about 360 so we're going to try and go for maybe this four right out in the front that one right there looked like a pretty good hit should have been double lung about 360 out and that should take him down pretty quick right about there he's down first ram down so we happen to have out here a pretty decent size but cd ibex about 340 out so we're gonna see if we can't take him down as well hold for the front shoulder as he's walking that should have been money whoa he started running backwards there but that should take him down right about there nice so nice double lung shot at him as well so it looks like we just got eyes on a pretty decent size 4 easy move on out here at about 355. We're going to take the 6.5 and hold for the top of the heart. It should drop right in there perfectly. That was not perfectly. I think we still got double lung if we're lucky, but we're way too high for the heart. Okay, he did tip over, thankfully. So still made an awesome shot, but just didn't quite hit the heart. And it looks like we just got eyes on another really decent 4 easy move on out here at about 390 yards out. He's not quartering. Oh, that could actually work right there. He just turned perfectly broadside. 390 yards out. And we just dropped him right there. Wow. This 6.5 is just incredible. Holy, we just got eyes on a ton of Basidi Ibex out here. And that guy right there looks like he could be a little bigger than a 4. And that's because he is. That's a diamond potential Basidi Ibex right there. What's interesting about this is this could be our second diamond Basidi Ibex in two days in a row. But we're about 300 yards away from where we got the one yesterday. So it's not the exact same herd, but it's pretty close to the exact same area. So what I want to do now is try and work our way over to this point here and figure out where this Basidi Ibex is actually going. I don't know if he's going to be feeding over here, if he's just running around or what. But I want to slide over to this point here, see if we can't get to a better vantage point and find this giant dime potential Basidi Ibex. Okay guys, so we just slid over to the edge here and we're almost to the point. Oh, that's a long ways down. We don't want to go down there just yet anyways, but I'm pretty sure I see him. It's him. It is definitely him. 180 yards out, perfectly broadside. We have the 6.5, we're zeroed in for 160. Should be perfect. It felt good. And he's down. Perfect double lung heart shot on a dime potential Ibex right there. Could we have done it back to back two days in a row? One with a bow and one with a 6.5 sniper rifle? I don't know. We're about to find out here soon. <laughs> so basically when I run down these mountains, I always had the, med, the uh, med kit out and I just run, jump, use the med kit. It works pretty good. You know, you don't have to worry about fast travel or anything. And not only that, the med kits are pretty cheap. I think they're like... I don't know, like two, 300 cash to get one. So, and they have about 10 per each one. So you should be good for a little while. Anyways, I definitely recommend getting these med kits because they can save you a lot of time. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the Ram that we got at 390. We might as well grab him. 394 yard. And it looks like we actually clipped the lower neck, left lung, 394 yards. So I thought it was a heart, but it looks like we just barely missed. But this guy here is our five medium diamond potential Ibex. And it could be our second diamond in two days. So we'll just take a picture of him real quick. I think that's going to look good. Might as well take one more. Perfect. And let's pick him up. And see what he's gonna score and he's gonna score he's a gold 947 just missed being a diamond a trophy rating of 193.6 he's still an absolute monster and we made a 182 yard perfect double lung heart shot with the 6.5 sniper rifle but 947 let's take a look at that shot placement i mean absolutely centered the heart perfectly he was only 182 yards out, so I'm not really that impressed. I mean, it's an amazing shot, but 180 yards, yeah. Let's just say he was smoked. I mean, I think we're still gonna get him mounted though because he was a five medium, and we'll have two five mediums side by side. One, a true diamond, and one didn't quite make diamond, but at least we have our diamond with the bow. But I mean, take a look at that spread, wow.
And since we're over here, we might as well go over here and pick up this ram that's kind of in the water here. What a beautiful place for him to go down. That should be a nice looking ram. Holy! What the? That just scared the crap out of me. Oh. Wow, there are a lot of Basidi Abics up on that mountain, apparently. That was a 355 yard right lung shoulder blade. So double lunged him at 355. I figured we're quite a bit too high, but luckily we still got double lung on him. And he's going to score 809. A pretty nice ram, Mouflon. Looks like we have another Mouflon out here at about 350 as well on the trot. And that should take... Eh, I guess that's going to take him down. <laughs> I think we got a heart shot there about 350 out. We also have quite a few Basi Ibex out here as well. In fact, we have one right here. There's another one right over here. I think we'll go for this one. Look good. Maybe hit him a little bit too far back, but it should take him down. Should have gotten lung liver at least. Got this one out here too. Oh, that was a perfect heart shot. Got another pretty good one out here. That should take him down. Looks like we probably got double lung liver on him. Might have not quite let him enough, but it looks like he's down right there. So about a 350 yard double lung liver on him. So we got a female out here. Actually, we might as well go for this male. About 350. Tried for heart. And it looks like we got it because he dropped. That is probably one of the most difficult angles to get heart in Call of the Wild, especially with the 6.5 because... I mean, it has accuracy, but it doesn't really have a lot of penetration. I mean, well, uh, let's just say it has penetration, but it doesn't have the knockdown power that the 30 odd 6 has. So in a sense, it can take down just as many animals as the 30 odd 6 can, but the 30 odd 6 will take them down quicker and you don't have to hit them as good. So basically it's like the easy way of hunting. The 30 odd 6, you can hit them in a single lung and get 100%. With this, you have to use uh, you have to get at least a double lung to get 100%. That's the difference. And it's a little more challenging, which I like that. So I just got eyes on another pretty good four easy Ibex over here on the opposite side of this lake here. We're going to try and take him down as well with the 6.5. If I could find him, that's not the right one. He was broadside. Where, where the heck did he go? Oh, that's got to be him right there. Yep. A little bit too high. Definitely got double lung though. And in fact, I can't even see him. So I don't know if he dropped or... That's not him there. Oh, huh. he's down right there. So looks like he might have ran like 20 yards if I'm not mistaken. Hard to tell. And now for the fun part. <gasps> running down the mountain with a med kit. Just diving head first. Running, jumping. Oh, it's so much fun when you have a med kit. When you don't have one, <laughs> it's not so much fun. But when you have one, it's it's a pretty good time. I enjoy it. And we'll take one last jump. Hey, there we go. And I suppose we'll grab this guy first. That was a 776 Basidi Ibex. We got him at 343 yards. Liver right lung. Hit him right behind the shoulder blade. But it looks like we didn't get enough penetration to get a double lung. And we got another Basidi Ibex down right here. We'll grab that one. That was actually a 358 yard lower neck. That's got to be a first for me. I thought we hit heart, but it looks like had we not hit that uh, neck, we probably would have hit the heart if we would have had enough penetration. But I mean, I'll still take it 100%. 864 on him, a really solid Ibex. I'm pretty sure this is one we got double lung liver on. And yes, it is, except for we got a liver, a left lung stomach at 369 yards. 892 score on him, but oh, take a look at his horn. Look at how it curves like that. It goes up and then out and then down. The diamond that we had before, it kind of just goes up and out. This one goes up, out, and down. Very unique looking. Trophy rating of 196. That's a huge trophy rating as well. And we got another ram down here. Let's find out how we did on this one. That was a double lung shot at 348 yards. This was actually the big one we got in the very beginning. The first ram we took a shot at, I knew we were a little bit too high. But I mean, still centered along nicely. 884 score on him. A really solid Mouflon Ram. And I'm pretty sure this one we made a hard shot. Yes, but we got double lung and heart. Oh, wow. I would have thought from that angle we'd only hit heart. But somehow we got double lung heart shot at 340 yards out on this Basit Ibex. 
And I'm pretty sure this is the last one that we got. Let's find out how far it was. 368 yard double lung shot on him. And he's going to score 864. A very nice shot placement with the 6.5. And another absolute sniper with the all-time sniper rifle in Call of the Wild. The 6.5 Martinson. And like I said before, a lot of people ask me, well, is the 6.5 better than 30-odd 6? It's not necessarily better, but it's way more accurate. And if you want a challenge, this is definitely what you want. Okay, so I'm going to show you the location that we're at today. It's basically the exact same place we were yesterday at the Mirador de Dona Amila. And we have a tent set up right here. We have my tripod set up right here. And it's about 350 yards exactly to both of these drinking zones for the Mouflon and the Basit Ibex. All right, I suppose we'll head back to the trophy laws and take a look at this guy. This is our 947 five medium Basidi Ibex that we almost had a diamond with the 6.5. Still made an incredible shot at 180 yards away. Snuck up to him, made a perfect double lung heart shot with the 6.5. I mean, how cool would that have been if we got a diamond with the 6.5? And yesterday we got our diamond with the bow. Of course, this guy right here, he's just stunning looking. I mean, the picture, honestly, I think I'm going to take a picture like this for the thumbnail because the thumbnail just doesn't do it justice. This thing is an absolute beast. But with that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.